In this video, I'll show you how over the past year and a half, I've been able to accumulate over $18,000 worth of some of my favorite company stock all for free. I'll show you how I did it, tell you why I did it, and show you the cash flow these stocks are now paying to me. This will help you so you can use Optrain to accumulate your own pile of cash flowing stocks all for free. As many of you know, my absolute favorite way to trade in the markets is to sell options. What I'm about to show you is something that makes me very excited and I think will make you excited as well. By the way, I think you'll want to watch to the end of this video because there you're going to see how $18,000 is just a small piece of a huge portfolio of stocks that we are building for free. I'm going to do this by giving you a glimpse of what's going on behind our electronic curtain in our main option trading account. As you can see here, last year in 2021, it was a really good year for us. At the bottom of a long list of dividends that we received last year in our main ops trading account, we pocketed over $6,000 in dividends. Now please keep in mind that we use various option trading strategies in this account, but all of them are centered around selling options. We have created our own version of the upgraded wheel strategy, but those dividends were just a very small piece of our income in this main option trading account. Here you see the bottom few lines of a very long list of option trades that we did throughout 2021. As you can see in the blue box, in all, as a result of selling options, we pocketed a net cash of $146,823. There were some fees like commission and data, which amounted to around $1,000. But in all, we put in our pocket over $150,000 last year as a result of selling options. And please keep in mind that we do not use margin or leverage in this account, or if we do, it's a very small amount of margin or leverage for a short period of time. On average, the amount of capital we had at risk was around $700,000, less than that at the beginning of the year and more than that towards the end of the year. So what do we do with all that money? Well, I'll tell you what we did with 10% of it. Here is where the acquiring free stock comes into play. At the end of each trading month, I look to see how much cash we accumulated by selling options the previous month. As you can see here, some months were good, an excess of $10,000. And one month, our worst month last year, was actually right at $7,500. But in general, we were able to pocket ten dollars to $15,000 a month by selling options. After the month was over, I decided to take 10% of that option trading cash flow and buy stock outright with it. And here's what happened. Now I've switched over to the account where we use 10% of our option trading cash flow to buy stocks outright. Each one of these colored rectangles is one month's worth of 10% of our ops trading cash flow. That 10% ranged from a low of $750 to a high of right at $2,000. In all, since we started doing this every month, almost a year ago, we've been able to accumulate $18,346.91 in free stock. That's $18,000 in stock ownership in companies that we didn't have to exert very much effort to buy. We simply used 10% of the cash flow from trading options to buy stock outright in these companies. In all, we now own pieces of 46 companies and ETFs that I really like. So what are those 46 companies doing for us now? I've now switched over to the estimated income that we should receive this year from these 46 companies. Notice that the income fluctuates from just under $20 per month for the month of January, which is actually by far the lowest month, to a high of $71 per month for this whole year. On average, we should receive right at $65 per month from these companies. And remember, this is almost like free money. Not only do we buy these stocks from cash flow from selling options or money that people gave us, but now these same stocks are throwing off additional monthly income that we don't have to work for. Another reason why I decided to use 10% of our cash flow to buy stocks outright is because of inflation. Although we get very good returns by selling options, I wanted to buy some assets that I plan to hold on to in theory forever. And if these companies continue to perform well, then our stock price should appreciate over time. What's even more important to me is that these companies' dividends should increase over time. One of the reasons why I don't want to sell these companies is that I want to avoid paying capital gains, which will decrease our overall profit. But I still want to benefit if these companies continue to perform well. We do that by pocketing ever-increasing dividends. Let me show you an example of that. Here you see the dividend history of AbbVie, ticker symbol ABBV. This is actually one of our larger positions in our pool of free stock that we've collected over the past year. Notice what happened to its dividend over the past nine years. Starting in January of 2013, when it began paying a dividend, it was paying 40 cents per share. Every year thereafter, it raised its dividend to the point where the dividend it paid several weeks ago on January 13th was $1.41 per share. That means that in nine years, AbbVie's dividend has more than tripled. 
Now I know that all of our dividends won't increase as much as Abbey's did, but overall, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for companies that we can hold on to for a very long time, potentially forever, that should be able to pay us ever increasing dividends. When you run numbers on dividends that we're receiving in our overall portfolio, it amounts to a 4.2% annualized dividend. Now that's nothing to get super excited about, even though it's really a nice dividend in a diversified portfolio like what we have here. But what I'm really looking for is I'm looking for that dividend to grow over time. If somehow it can triple over the next 10 years like Abbey's did, then we'll be collecting an approximately 12% annualized dividend based on our cost basis. This will also help us to have an asset that should be going up in value to help counteract the effect of inflation. And remember, this is monthly and yearly income that we should be getting for free that should be increasing the rest of our life. By the way, if that was really useful, what I just share with you, then I'd love it if you just give this video a like, just bump the like button. And while you're down there, if becoming a more consistently profitable option stock trader is important to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and bell notification. Now, $18,000 worth of stock isn't chump change by any means, but what I want to show you now is how we're doing this on an even larger scale. It would take too long to show you every position that we're in now or have been working on over the past several years. But I want to give you a peek behind the curtains, a peek into my secret electronic vault to show you why I said $18,000 is nothing compared to what we've been building in our main option trading account. Let me show you what I mean. Here you see our current position in Enterprise Products Partners. If you have a car that burns gas or home that's heated by gas, you most likely are using this company. You just may not be aware of it. You see, they make it possible for you to have gas in your house and gas in your car, as well as many other products. Let me show you what our cost basis is in Enterprise Products Partners. So we currently own 1,000 shares of EPD. As you see here, because of the options we've been selling and the dividends that we've collected, our cost basis for these 1,000 shares is only $18.51 per share. EPD is currently trading at $24.30 per share. Now that's pretty awesome in itself. You see we own a piece of this company at a 24% discount. But what I especially like is what our dividend yield is based on how much we have in the stock. EPD currently pays a quarterly dividend in the amount of 46 and a half cents per share. Multiply that times four quarters, that means that we're receiving $1.86 per share per year in dividends. Divide that by our cost basis of $18.51, we're getting just over a 10% annualized return on our costs and just dividends. Now keep in mind that for that 10% return, we don't have to do anything whatsoever. Let me take you all the way back to October 28th of 1998. That's how long EPD has been paying its owners regular dividends. Here you see that back then, EPD was paying just over 11 cents per share per quarter. Since then, it's been paying ever increasing dividends every single year. So we can feel pretty certain that our 10% dividend based on our cost basis will continue to grow over time. Now I had several other examples I wanted to share with you, but for the sake of time, let me just give you one more. This one surprised even me when I looked at it. Here you see the covered call position we are in in Kraft Heinz. Please notice that we own 400 shares of Kraft Heinz. I'm sure this is a company that most or all of you are familiar with. They produce many products that are popular in our kitchens. Here you see that today, Kraft Heinz closed at just over $36 per share. Let me show you what our cost basis is in this company. Now you're looking at every trade we've done in Kraft Heinz over the past two years. Notice here towards the bottom that as a result of selling options and collecting dividends, even though we were assigned or bought 400 shares of Kraft Heinz at $40 per share for a total of $16,000, we're actually only out of pocket $8,238. If you divide that by the 400 shares that we own, you see that our cost basis is right at $20.60 per share. That's pretty awesome because Kraft Heinz is currently trading at $36 per share. Notice that Kraft Heinz currently pays a dividend of 40 cents per share per quarter or $1.60 per share per year. So the question is, what kind of return are we getting based on our cost basis of $20.60 per share? If you divide that $1.60 in annual dividends per share by our cost basis of $20.60 per share, you see that we're getting a 7.8% dividend based on our cost basis. And that's before we add anything in return for selling covered call options. Another way to look at this is that right at half the shares that we own have been paid for already by selling options. All oh, the things you can do with option trading. If you'd like to receive alerts when we do trades similar to the ones I showed in this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see more details on how we use selling options to generate awesome monthly cash flow in return, check out the video series at the link above in the description below entitled Option Trading Monthly Cash Flows. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.